So in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss orthogonal complements. Okay. Uh, these are uh, very important because without this idea, uh, this is actually the foundation for doing least squares, okay, which we're going to do in, this, in another video. Okay. So the idea here is that um, if we have a, let's say we have a subspace okay, that's represented by the plane, and we're going to call that W. Okay. And then we have a another let's say an, another vector space called L that is extruding from W. Okay, so so and then we have a vector z. Okay, so this is a vector z. Okay, so then so anything so any vector on L when we dot it with any vector in W is going to be zero. Okay, so any vector in here. All right. Okay, so for example, right? So you have this. We have z. All right. If we take z and any component of z, any any multiple of z, if we dot that with something in w, okay, whatever it is in w, it's going to be zero. Okay. So this is the idea of orthogonal complements. Okay. All right, and. If you recall, right, if you multiply, if two vectors, when you dot them, is equal to zero, that means they're orthogonal to each other. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show that the W perp, okay, so W perp is, is basically L in this diagram. Okay. So we want to show that any vector, okay, any vector, right, in here, Okay, so that's in the subspace. That's going to be in the subspace of Rn. So we want to show that W perp is a subspace of Rn. Okay. All right. So to do this, we need to verify the three properties of a subspace. Okay. The first one is we need to show that the zero vector is in W perp. And then what we need to do is show that pick two vectors in W perp and then add them together and then operate on a vector in W and that will give us uh, that's going to show us that uh, those two vectors are in W perp and then we're going to take a constant or a scalar multiply it by a vector in W perp and and that will also be in W perp okay all right okay so let's start with the first one okay so the first one is we want to show, okay. We want to show that zero, the zero vector belongs to W perp, okay. Okay, so we to show that it's a W perp, we need to, sh we basically just need to show that when we take zero vector and dot it with something in W, we're going to get zero. Okay, so let, okay, let zero belong to W perp, okay. So then, right, zero dot with anything in W, okay. So whatever, so W is in W, okay, so whatever is in W, okay, we're going to get zero okay okay so this is the zero vector so we get zero no matter for all right so for all vector for any vector in w okay for all w okay no matter what because i mean we're multiplying by the zero vector or taking the dot product of the zero we're taking the zero and dotting it with another vector in w so it's always going to give us zero Okay, so that's uh, so that's a very trivial result. Okay. Secondly, okay, we need to show. Okay, we need to show that uh, adding two vectors, okay, and W perp will give us that result. Will give us W. Will give us a vector in W perp. Okay, so we need to show closure under addition.
Okay, so closure and W and W. Well, I should say closure under the addition property. Okay, with respect to W perp. Okay, all right, so. We're going to let so we're going to let z1, z2. Okay, again, let this belong to w perp. Okay, and then we're going to pick a vector u and w. Okay, then we're going to add these two. Okay, so then we get okay. We're going to take z1. For vectors so z1 plus c2 and we're dotted with u okay so this is going to give us z1 dotted with u plus z2 dotted with u okay okay so since z z is an l and u is a vector in w so therefore this must be zero okay same thing here z2 right from our assumption z2 is in w perp which is l which is an l okay so this is going to give us zero so therefore this gives us zero okay so that shows us those two vectors when we add them that the result right must be in w perp okay all right Third property, okay, for the scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication property. All right, so we're going to let, again, let Z belong to W perp. So pick a, picking a vector in W perp, okay, and uh, we want to pick a scalar, okay, any scalar, okay, such that it's a real number, okay, and let u let u be a vector belonging to w okay okay so then we get okay then okay we multiply that scalar by z okay and multiply by right and then multiply by u so this is equal to c times z dotted with u okay using the uh, this is dotted here okay so using the dot uh, the dot product uh, properties since z okay so since z is in an l okay and u is in w so therefore Right, z dotted with u, okay, must be zero. So this is going to give us c times zero. That's equal to zero. Okay, so that shows us that uh, if we have a vector in w perp and we multiply by any by any scalar, okay, it's going to be and it's satis it's going to satisfy the uh, the property for w perp. Okay, that is that is that. Um, if we take the dot product of any scalar of the vector z and, and u, then we get we're going to get zero. Okay, so we show the three properties. Okay, for for the subspace of R n. Okay. Okay, so therefore, W per must be a subspace of R n.
Okay. All right. It's a very simple idea, but but it's very powerful. Okay. All right. So we're going to see an application of this later. Okay, using what's called least squares method. Okay.